Hello everyone, this is Singy from the Sanctum of the Soul and today I've got with me the Shadows and Light Oracle by Lucy Cavendish and illustrated by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Um, as you can see, this is the German version and I did a, a previous review of this uh, but it got cut short. Um, I have no idea what happened but it got cut short and it came out a bit garbled so here I am I've decided to redo it um, I've decided to come out here because the, the weather is quite pleasant today um, it just rained for most of the day so it's really quite cool here very rare in tropical Singapore <laughs> so here we go um, I'm not sure where which publisher the original is. I'm pretty sure it's uh, Blue Angel, but yeah, pretty sure it's Blue Angel, but I can't be 100% certain. Um, but being the German version, this edition is um, published by Zilberschnur Verlag. Um, it's a German-based publisher, so Nothing here will be exactly the same as the English version. Uh, I will be doing my best to translate the deck. Um, yeah, but I'm not really sure what the, the cards are called in English, so bear with me um, about that. So the box is pretty sturdy and it's got this wonderful interior contrast and here we go this is the book and the book includes the cards um, the keywords a summary of the card like a brief history summary and then um, what the card says and of course what you can work on and that is all you need from a guidebook really and it is quite a pleasant um, design so no complaints there at all and next is the cards as you can see the cards are nestled in this little um, hole and I absolutely love this design because um, as you can see just now it didn't rattle much um, which is something that uh, you, you might have heard me complain about um, especially when it comes to Blue Angel for example um, the cards always rattle around in the box and so if I'm going you know if I'm going to be walking the entire day that could be a problem and uh, I'm not really sure if the cards are going to get damaged so I have to pack the boxes with additional layers of paper just to prevent it from moving around but with this deck, um, there's no such problem, no such issue at all. And you can see that this is fortified on the sides. So instead of just being a flimsy card, um, it has a fortified um, center. So that holds the cards really well. I know some publishers, they, they do have a concept like that, but uh, it's just a flimsy piece of card and it feels like it doesn't provide much protection. There's no such problem with this one. So moving on to the cards themselves. So this is a 45 card deck and um, I'm not sure if, I'm pretty sure I've seen the English versions and certain images are a bit different in terms of borders and um, maybe the color. So as you can see, um, this deck is going to be of the glossier kind at the side. It's a bit more glossy and it is, um, yeah, there we go. So it is quite glossy even um, on the surface and on the sides. So that ensures that it's quite smooth throughout. Um, card stock wise, it is pretty thick. And you can see that it is on the large side. I'm pretty sure this is about the same size as Blue Angel. Um, so some people might find it hard to shuffle because of how big it is. Um, and 
well happily uh, despite the high gloss on the cards they don't stick so they are pretty easy to shuffle as you can see now moving on to the actual card designs the first card is Geist of the Imperbis Field and that's the ghost of the pumpkin field uh, or pumpkin patch if you will and that's Sai Dank Das Was Du Hast and that means to be thankful for what you have so interestingly um, you can see that despite the whole gloomy kind of character design there is blue skies on the Burpa so to me that card symbolizes um, it's a reminder that despite being, you know, the current time perhaps might not be of uh, as much abundance as you could um, have wanted, but uh, you do still have assets, um, so you do still have a pumpkin patch uh, that's awaiting harvest. So you do have um, an abundance, an abundance harvest coming in. So this is a. a be thankful that despite not having it right now, it's going to come soon. So that is quite an interesting deck um, card. So this deck is going to be quite interesting because of um, how it depicts the, the meanings using um, very strange, um, unique characters. And uh, you might have noticed the iconic art style of Jasmine Beckett Griffith, the huge heads, with the white spaced eyes that is very iconic and she has worked together with Lucy Cavendish on multiple decks so to a lot of people this would be a familiar um, art style and that's Bedegetlichen Hand so that's the fairy of the godly hand um, as you can see there is some polychromism I think um, basically the eye colors are different so all the yellow eyes belong to her, obviously, but the blue eye belongs to uh, the hand. And we've got Vergiftung, Verzerrte Blick, and Maßlosigkeit. So, Maßlosigkeit, so, sorry. Um, so, that's uh, intoxication and uh, perhaps distorted vision, distorted view. Um, and oh goodness the opposite of temperance intemperance like overly indulgent except I guess so <laughs> sorry I did that um, so to me it's all about getting a fresh perspective um, because of the, the eye color that's different so that to me is a very different perspective um, and Perhaps you don't, you know, when it comes to addictions, you're not really sure that you're addicted. Most people who are addicted don't really realize it. And so with that fresh perspective, perhaps you will um, come to realize and, you know, begin your healing process. And that's Leuchtfeuer Fee. So that's the light fire fairy. And that's, of course, the light at, like, you know, a lighthouse. And that's Orientierung. And uh, so it's guidance but where to to where um, so to me uh, this is a perfectly neutral card uh, because you may have been receiving guidance but uh, uh, we can't be sure where the guidance is going so it is very much about being discerning about um, the people who are coming to guide you uh, they might not have your best interests at heart or they might but um, they might be guiding you in the wrong direction or in a direction that doesn't suit you uh, so be discerning about that and the Schnee Engel uh, Snow Angel the Zeichen sind unter uns so the signs are here and of, you know, of course there's the physical sign there with the Snow Angel uh, and then the literal angel of the snow um, so you can see the, the sharp contrast in colors between the angel and the white snow behind so the signs are quite stark um, you just have to open your eyes to see it and to understand it Jesus Odysseus so that's sweet or sour 
and that's the German way of saying trick or treat. And wir sind hier. Uh, so we are here. Um, to me, this is one of the most interesting cards of the deck because of how it's depicted. Um, all of them are like in miniature um, figures, and we've got death, you've got jack o' lantern, you've got a witch, and a cauldron. So to me, it feels like firstly, death with death always comes rebirth it comes symbolizes change um, and jack-o-lantern perhaps is a light in the dark and of course a witch symbolizes our innate abilities here to me of course um, you you may have a different interpretation and feel free to share the interpretations of any of the cards in the comments comment section so to me um, trick or treat your abilities are there they are here and you can choose to avoid them or you can choose to let them in embrace them um, either way it is your choice but it would be a shame if you you know ignored them perhaps else lit's a chance and that's the autumn of the last chance nicht die hoffnung verlieren um, so that's um, oh. So, nicht die Hoffnung verlieren, that's, um, Jesus Christ, like, don't lose hope, basically. Um, so, despite the whole drab atmosphere um, and the barrenness of the, the, the background, uh, there is still hope. She is still holding on to perhaps the last fruit of the season. But as long as you've got that in your hand, there is life, there is hope. So, don't lose hope. Okay, and that's Po. Zeit für Veränderung und für neues Technik. Weise nutzen. So it is time to embrace and to. Uh, you need to uh, educate yourself on new technology, new techniques. And you can see the steampunk um, images all around. So this card is quite important in our lives. Um, there will come a time where uh, we are starting to remain stagnant and perhaps it is time to embrace new um, ideas, new techniques, new um, ways of working with you know, energy or anything else, even in the real world, the tangible world. Um, yeah, so that's the Mürische Rote Fee, Sei du selbst. So, this is the um, angsty, <laughs> um, unhappy, grumpy, yeah, let's go with grumpy, grumpy red fairy, and that's to be yourself, um, so perhaps, you know, you've been putting on a, a, a front, uh, an image, an external facade of happiness or of something that hasn't really been true to your inner self and perhaps that is due to you know um, external scrutiny or pressure but perhaps it's time to go back to who you are inside and it's fine if who you are it has a resting bitch face for example <laughs> um, it doesn't matter and that's drei Hexenschwestern die Kraft der drei so that's the three witch sisters and the art of tree uh, so to me um, it's quite interesting that the one in the middle has her eyes open the other two are still in ceremonial hats with their eyes closed so perhaps you have joined um, a group think um, kind of modality for example you know everyone else in the group has decided that um, they're fine with the status quo or define with the way things are, the way uh, you know everyone has always done something, but you have awakened to perhaps a new idea, a new perspective, and so to me, it's quite important that uh, you keep your eyes open, especially in you know in most things really. So even in spirituality, perhaps um, you joined a group that does 
that's just a Reiki, for example, and you've realized that perhaps the teacher has missed out certain things, everyone else is content, but you're not. So it is important to know that, to understand that, and make your own decision after. Mea Jungfrau der Sonnenfinsternis, so that's the uh, mermaid of the solar eclipse, and as machtvolle Energieverschiebung, so that's a powerful um, change in energy, shift in energy. So you've got the melding of the earth and the sea, earth and water, and you've got the melding of solar and lunar energy, so that's quite um, self-explanatory. Trockenblumenfee, so that's the dried flower fairy. Süße Erinnerungen, so that's sweet memories. Of course, dried flowers are a reminder of um, you know, a, a sweeter past, perhaps, a past where the flowers were lively, they were alive, they were vibrant, and now they're dried flowers, so perhaps it's time to go back to something comfortable, something more um, happier times, perhaps, and sometimes that can help with healing. Geflügelte Seherin so that's the wind um, seeress, um, seerfa. That's the English. Yeah, seeress, seeress. Du siehst klar, Hilsichtigkeit. So that's um, you are seeing very clearly, and you have light vision, so like clairvoyance. Quite explanatory as well. Follow your intuition. Uh, follow your perspective, not just intuition. So perhaps you've noticed something wrong. You're right in this case. Ich bin Kali. I am Kali. Aus dem Tod die Wiedergeburt. So that's um, only through, you know, through death comes rebirth. So that is very much Kali's um, specialty. Marie Masquerade. So that's Marie Masquerade. Um, Glanz. Intrigue and drama, so that's um, glamour, intrigue and drama. So perhaps you are in an environment where you are not able to be yourself, you, are, you have to put on a mask and just to survive all the intrigue and drama. But um, I guess this card calls attention to your current situation, you are in such a situation, so be careful. Male Taufe, so that's um, Mildew Fairy. Großreiner machen, so that's um, drastic um, cleanup. So, what what aspects of your life have you not been cleaning up? Have you you know what no longer sparks joy? Uh, it's time to clean up and do it drastic, like a huge cleanup, basically. Angel der Toten, um, Angel of Death. Uh, I know this card in English is called the Angel de los Muertos, uh, the Angel of Death in Spanish, and you can see why, because these are, of course, the death masks of Mexico. Um, so, and that says, Übergänge ins Reich der Ge Geister, so that's the Übergänge transition to move um, into the kingdom of the ghosts. Very interesting. I guess you could mean the spirit world, spirit world as well, spirit realm maybe. Interesting. So perhaps it's time to let go of more trivial matters. To time to explore your spirituality more. Zeitsam einsam. Zeitsam seltsam. Sorry, I was like what. Yeah, um, so that's loneliness. Sich zu sehr festklammern. So that's um, you are holding on too tightly. So, what have you been holding on that's causing isolation? What's causing unhappiness? Time to let go. Violetta Herzogin. Um, that's the violet. Eh. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what. Herzogenes in English? Let me look that up. It's. So sorry about that. Give me a moment to.
took that up. Duchess, yes. So it's the violet Duchess. Um, and there's Unterdrück, Gelangweilt, Festgefahren, so feeling stuck, um, feeling bored. So you can see that she's not happy. Um, there's not a shred of happiness left in her. So it's time to be aware of what's causing unhappiness, um, what is stifling your growth, what is causing all these um, negativity, uh, and perhaps, you know, awareness, with awareness comes the ability to change. And that is Amara di Menehunin. So Menehunin is, um, I'm not sure how to pronounce it in Hawaiian, but that's a creature from Hawaii if I'm not wrong and it says Lomi Hailung so Lomi Lomi is of course a healing modality from Hawaii uh, so it's healing very much healing uh, time to go get healed Highland Fae so um, Highland Fairy and it says Tiger Mut so time to be brave time to go you know go out there and conquer your fears conquer the world perhaps um she's you can see that she's wearing um her traveling cape she's clutching onto a dagger she's got this resolute eyes um so definitely prepared to go face her fears and it's interesting this is quite a celtic feeling to the card and of course there, there are celtic symbols here and this is an ode to um Lucy Cavendish, who is very much a practicing, um, not sure if she identifies as a witch, but I'm pretty sure she does, uh, a Celtic witch, perhaps. And there's Angel der Alchemy, Wunder. So that's the Angel in Alchemy, and Wunder, so Wonder. So you are able to transmute things, to turn not so great things into something wonderful. Uh, so you have to embrace that ability and perhaps this is indicative of something that's that perhaps it's time to change Photo in blau, voodoo in blue and that's hand of fake, hand of fake. so that's telling you to go away to um, back off and that is so interesting so the blue is a very nice color and perhaps this is time to set up your boundaries uh, because we tend to think of voodoo dolls as something offensive as in as something used to uh, actively take action on someone but perhaps this is some um, i'm sure they call it a bridget doll um which is for protection to set up it's basically a ward that you perhaps hang in a tree or a doorway to ward off um, negativity and that seems to be what she's clutching so time to set up your boundaries time to get rid of people or at least stop engaging with people who you know might not have your best interests at heart Violetta Angel so that's the Violet Angel seems like they really like the color Violet and that's Einoia Morgan a new morning a new morning yeah um, or a new tomorrow perhaps a new morning is probably the better one so this is of course a hopeful card um, new opportunities are coming this is a new day new world and there's the Tan and Fae Fairy of the Lantern eine klare Lösung so that's a clear answer uh, quite obvious and there's Abwasser Meer Jungfrau, um, like the, the mermaid of the sewers, and Deine Sinnlichkeit ist schön, so your Sinnlichkeit, sensuality, I guess, is beautiful. So it doesn't matter where you are, it doesn't matter that you are in literal gutters. Um, it doesn't change your innate sensuality, your innate attractiveness. So, you know, you may not be in the best situation right now or the best place right now, but don't, you know, 
be aware of your worth, be aware of your abilities. Die drei parts. So that's the three fates. Uh, you can see the the spinning of the fates, the cutting of the fates. So that's Astropos, and I can't remember the other two. And they are from Greek mythology, of course. Wie man in den Wald hineinruft. So that's basically, you know, um, be aware of your actions. Be aware of what's happening. You know, there is everything is kind of. So I personally don't believe in predestination, but I do believe that when we do anything that we do, we are weaving the energy in a certain way. So to me, the fates are within us. Um, our fates are very much, you know, most of it at least is very much in our hands. So be careful of what you're doing. Be careful that you're not manifesting something negative, something that doesn't serve you. Seltsame Valentinskus, so that's a strange Valentine. Liebe ist sonderbar, so have you been overlooking certain things because you think that it's not going to work out? Um, have you been, you know, giving up on opportunities because you are not, it's out of your comfort zone, but it could in the end be what you need, be what you are, your soul has been looking for. So don't discount things just because they come from, um, from a, perhaps from a direction that you're not comfortable with or you're not expecting. Der Tod uns das Mädchen, so Death and the Maiden. Uh, and that's Vereinnahmung, Grenzüberschreitung and Dominanz, so that's Invasion. Um, breaching of boundaries and dominance um, of course death uh, is, is of course looming through her defenses through her boundaries but some things just can't be blocked out death for example everyone everything is subject to death um, so we can't really block out everything but everything else um, perhaps we can do something about so this card reminds you that you know choose your battles but put up your boundaries but realize that you know your boundaries are not only potent there are things that will be able to um, get through there are things that aren't avoidable no matter how hard you try and this card that's Krabestille so that's um, peaceful silent grave Jemand fehlt dir, so you're missing someone, or someone, oh no, sorry, Jemand fehlt dir, someone misses you. Um, you're, you're perhaps isolating yourself, um, you have put yourself in a quiet place, perhaps to heal, perhaps to, you know, to just be yourself, be alone. Um, but someone out there needs your help, perhaps, perhaps even you might need their help as well. So while I always advocate alone time to uh, re you know, regenerate your energy, uh, at the same time, don't, you know, no man is an island, is the saying, I believe. Um, so don't, don't isolate yourself too much. Uh, don't be a hermit. Uh, you know, the world out there, someone still needs you, something still requires your attention. You know, you're part of the world, so go out there after you're done um, recovering. Go out there and rejoin the world. Zwei kleine Hexe. So that's two little witches. Uh, and that's Magische Raumreinigung. So that's magical cleaning of the room. Uh, so quite, quite... Uh, quite self-explanatory I think so um, it is a bit similar to the other Reinigung the Großreinigung card the uh, where was it let's see yeah Großreine machen so that is of course to uh, there are things that have been stagnant for too long and it's time to clear them. 
this one on the other hand seems to be more about space clearing perhaps clearing your energy uh, rather than letting go of things that no longer serve you uh, you know this is a bit less less eh, drastic I suppose less drastic um, and this one's because it's magical so perhaps that one would eh, would constitute a more physical kind of cleansing while this one is more energetic perhaps and that's Dharma Midden Bosch Eye um, a woman lady with a Bosch egg and that's Uralte Weisheit um, really old um, knowledge, wisdom so it's very interesting um, the way it's been drawn it's even a ghost ship I think no, it's a it's a sled drawn by like a goose or something. And you've got the egg. So interesting. <laughs> and we've got Meerstosen. Um so that's Ruhe and Chaos. Uh very much storm energy. Uh, of course, there's a sea yeah, storm, I guess, um, and that's calm, uh, calm in chaos, Google in chaos. Um, so, storm energy. The whole point of you might have heard this term before. Um, well, storm energy is about finding that power, finding that center, even in the middle of a storm. Um, it may be chaotic out there, but if you're able to find the eye of the storm, if you're able to survive in a calm uh, and, you know, keep your energy calm in the storm, then it builds the ability to survive much harsher environments, much harsher tests and uh, perhaps obstacles. Clyde der Alchemy, so that's the dress the alchemical dress and that's Entfessle deine Macht unleash your might um, so it's saying that you have everything you need uh, but you're, you're keeping it in it's time to release that it's time to show your power it's time to make full use of your abilities and this card this is a spooky card and it's very Japanese even the lady looks Japanese and that's Gesichtslose Geisel und Spukopfer. So that's the faceless um, ghosts and the um, the haunting the, the haunting ghost like a poltergeist perhaps. And it's Geisterwesen. Uh, so that's ghost creatures. Very interesting. So perhaps these are fears that um, you have never addressed. Uh, because they're faceless because you're unable to identify the roots of the problem, the roots of the fears. Um, you feel haunted constantly by these stuck energies, but you're not able to put a face to it. So what you have to do is identify them, put a face to it, and, you know, by identifying them, it gives you the ability to work on them. And that is what psychologists do. They talk to you until they identify roots of the problem, so that is... Uh, very important in psychological work and of course in spiritual work as well. Let's see, Gewitter Engel, so that's like a stormy kind of angel, and Collisio von Glaubenssätzen, Einstellungen und Stellen. So um, this is a clash, a collision of um, beliefs of Einstellung of ways of doing things of you know um, styles so perhaps in a group setting um, you are encountering a clash in opinions a clash in it doesn't matter um, as long as there's a clash in some kind of belief system so how are you going to get through it so obviously um, this is something that only you can fix because 
you're not going to be able to change everyone around you and let's just face it we're not always the people who are not at fault perhaps we are the ones being difficult as well so how are we going to get through that and that is a lesson that's very important uh, of course if this comes out in different contexts if you're asking for advice and this could possibly be indicating that um, this is the roots of the issue of course it could also be telling you that there is going to be a clash in the future so it really depends on how you read the deck and that's Heilerin gebrochene Herzen um, and Heilung von Liebeskummer so this is a, um, a healer of uh, the broken heart uh, and healing from heartache uh, so heartbreak perhaps um, so yeah it's quite it's quite quite self-explanatory and we've got the Tsukashang den Engel and Bas. so this is the candy cane angel and it's time to treat yourself so perhaps we've been self-flagellating or you know um, keeping our keeping ourselves busy, keeping ourselves on a tight um, leash. So perhaps it's time to go out and enjoy yourself, treat yourself for a while, and you know it can be a healing experience as well. Go out and have fun. Fleisch plays in the plants and food, and that's ein verlockendes Angebot für Treue. So this is the um, flesh-eating plant, a carnivorous plant, very, um, and of course the meaning is uh, an, an offer that could be a tempting, I guess, a tempting offer um, can turn out to be expensive. So be careful, uh, quite self-explanatory as well, but definitely be cautious. And that's Kürbis Urwerk, the Kürbis Urwerk, and that's um, a pumpkin clockwork. Wunderbare Idee, Geister's Blitz. Um, so that's the uh, a wonderful idea, um, uh, a eureka moment, um, an epiphany. And yeah, an epiphanous moment. Um, it's quite interesting that the pumpkin is back and we've got the clockwork in the pumpkin, so that is very interesting. And of course, we have established that the pumpkin symbolizes abundance in this deck, um, it symbolizes the fruits of labor. So, this could be um, a culmination of your past efforts, uh, the fruits of your labor. So definitely a wonderful card and that's the angle that's height angel of time to feel arbeit so too much to do too much work so are you have you been taking the time to yourself um have you been putting too much effort too much time into something that you have you know you feel like um time is running out you feel like you're always on some kind of um Oh, deadline, yeah. So that's very cool, very important lessons. Princess in Nautilus, so that's the Nautilus princess. Großes persönliches Wachstum, so that's powerful, huge personal growth. Um, of course, the Nautilus is uh, a common symbol of growth due to rings. And of course the Fibonacci sequence, so you are growing um, according to your nature, um, but it's going to be a huge growth, a huge change in yourself. So um, of course the cards aren't predictive in that sense, so this is probably telling you that you have to work on yourself more. Uh, but of course it could also mean perhaps, you know, should I join this class and, it's going, and if this card comes out, that's of course indicates that this class is going to have a, is going to help you grow immensely and we've got Geister der Vergangenheit um, ghosts of the past and die Vergangenheit kehrt zurück so the past is 
uh, returned, has returned for a while. Uh, so perhaps this is a reminder that certain things are recurring. Uh, have you been, you know, have you, have you, what have you done to that the past is recurring and something, a, a pattern perhaps is recurring? Or it could be, you know, a reconnection with something from the past, like a Mercury retrograde kind of uh, meaning. So uh, it's quite open-ended and depends on the context, but it's definitely something to do with your past. Pink Farbene Lotus Fair, so that's the pink colored um, fairy of the lotus. And Zeit der Spiritualität, so that's. Um, Time for spirituality, uh, quite self-explanatory as well. Time to meditate, time to work on your inner energy. And that one is Fee der Grünen Feld. So that's the fairy of the green world. Die Natur braucht dich. Uh, so, die Natur braucht, so the nature needs you. So, um, have you been doing things like connecting to Mother Earth, to nature? Um, have you been raising awareness for nature, natural causes? For example, currently, a lot of the world's forests are on fire and nature needs us as a collective whole more than ever. So have any, have any of us been doing anything to help at all? Um, so that is, of course, the question that this card poses. Hexa Mender der Welt, so that's the witch at the end of the world. Ein bedeutsames Ende, ein Neubeginn. So there is a meaningful end and a new beginning. So very similar to the Ishvin Kali card. Um, but in this sense, it's not just any change, any death, it is a meaningful end. Uh, so something is coming to an end, a very meaningful end, and then something else will spring up in its place. So for example, if you're leaving a job or something like that, um, this card indicates that it is a meaningful um, ending, you will learn something from it. And as customary for my videos, I will be doing a short reading for myself and of course uh, right um, so I will be asking about a certain offer that I received recently and see if it if the deck has anything to say about that first part Interesting. I am feeling one more card in here. There we go. Okay. So that's interesting. We've got Death and the Maiden. So um, it's reminding me that I have to start setting boundaries. So perhaps um, even in terms of charging, in terms of receiving things in return because I have of course been offering my help for absolute you know pro bono for quite a long time and perhaps it is time to set boundaries so that I don't take get taken advantage of uh, at the same time perhaps um, something else is going to assert this dominance so I'll have to be careful about that and there's token bloom and fair the dried fairy dried flower fairy and Jesus F so that is um, sweet memories, so perhaps um, there is a lot that I can draw from my past, a happier past that I can apply to now, Clyde der Alchemy, and that's of course the um, Entsfessler Deine Macht card, so unleash the power, so don't be afraid, um, so just go out there and, you know, do what I'm able to do. and. 
so don't hold back show uh, what I am able to do yeah basically sorry for being tautological Heilige gebrochene Herzen so that's the fairy that heals broken hearts so past disappointments aside um, this offer might um, help me in you know getting over the past disappointments of um, foiled offers and things you know people that I just never heard back from Hexa Mende der Welt um, and that's ein bedeutsames Ende, ein neuer Beginn. So that is a hopeful card. Um, it seems like the end of something, because of course, when you get a new offer, um, usually something else comes to an end. But it does seem to be a meaningful end. Uh, so that is great <laughs> for me. And yeah, so. Wow, 45 minutes. So it's been a long time since I've done a review that has lasted this long. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, I know that this has been more of a walkthrough than a review and I hope it's been informative. I hope um, in at least sharing how I interpret cards personally. Um, of course, like I said, there are different ways of interpreting the cards. I haven't read the book, so I'm not sure if the book agrees with my interpretation. But um, do drop your interpretations in the comments. If you don't agree with anything I said, do tell me in the comments as well. Um, help my channel grow and, you know, help me reach more people with more useful content. Um, for everyone else who's been, who's just here for the review part, I'm sorry it took so long um, to do the walkthrough. Uh, I would absolutely uh, recommend this deck. Uh, this is in fact one of my favorite um, Lucy Cavendish decks. Uh, so of course the images aren't going to be exactly the same but they will be similar um, for all the, the deutschsprachige Leute. Um, <laughs> this is the German deck if you are getting it from Germany or from Austria or somewhere in the region uh, that's good that's what you're going to get um, and I I thought it was beautiful and this was obviously meant to be mine since my friend um, <laughs> I don't think I mentioned this but I got this in German because my friend uh, who used to have a shop in Singapore ordered the wrong deck and so she ordered in, in German instead of English and so she was convinced I think that nobody was going to get it um, so she left it um, she she left Singapore so she had a clearance sale at the end of her stint here and so she left it on her counter and I saw it and I was like hey it's a German deck because at the point it's been quite a while so I've never actually seen the German deck and so I asked her who bought it and she was like, no one's buying it. I'm just going to take it with me to Europe or something like that. And I was like, well, I'll take it off you. And so she gave it to me at cost price or something close to cost price. And I, I don't buy it really. So yeah, um, and that I, I haven't, I haven't regretted that purchase. It's great. Uh, I've honestly haven't been reading with this deck much, so I did one reading in the past um, review that I'm probably going to delete, uh, and then I did one for a friend the other day, and that's it. So I'm not very familiar with the cards, so this is great, because I haven't looked at the cards in a long time. So yeah, and in fact, when I did that review, I, I'd already had the deck for about more than two years I think before doing that review so that's how how much I've been neglecting it but after today's reading I feel like perhaps it is um, useful to work with this deck it's very informative very interesting images and yeah I think you know clients would possibly like this as well so thank you again for watching. I hope this has been informative. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any comments, any suggestions, uh, any requests perhaps for future reviews, uh, do tell me in the comments and do subscribe to my channel if you like what I'm doing. Thank you.